Well, he was told that he was too small to ever play hockey, but the boy you're about to meet proved them all wrong. Kevin Reese has the story of the little fighter whose dream came true. We knew at birth. Anderson McDuffie's life got off to a pretty rough start. Only four months old when he had open heart surgery for the first time. A hole in his heart and several other problems too. When was your surgery? Your first one? March 18th. March 18th, 2009. He did recover, but considered too fragile. Doctors told him contact sports were out of the question. He couldn't be the loud, rambunctious little boy he really wanted to be. It's loneliness. Loneliness was the best and most painful word he could find. And then last year, nearing his 10th birthday, a life and death tune-up of sorts. Doctors had to stop his heart all over again, repair valves this time. But in all this struggle, all these surgeries and visits to the doctor, he had one very specific reason to get better. Hockey is, is it, it gives him life. Anderson's heart bleeds hockey. The west corner of the family's Plano garage reserved just for slap shots. His upstairs bedroom bathed in green and devoted entirely to the Dallas Stars, where next to his autographed picture of Tyler Sagan, he tells his friends he dreams of playing hockey someday too. They think I'm fragile. I tell them I'm perfect. I'm just as fine as them. The heart wants what it wants. He pushed through it so that he can do what he wanted to do, which is always hockey. When you see Babe Zamboni the ice and it's completely flawless. I see heaven. You see heaven. In Wednesday morning, he arrived at his heaven by police escort and by bus. The Dallas Stars practice facility in Frisco. His team, including his older brother, greeted like conquering heroes. And as captain of the team, they decided to call the EKGs. Anderson awesome. stood for a moment in awe when he found himself in a pro hockey locker room what do you, what do about to face about? off against the real Dallas Stars. Ladies and gentlemen, here's McDuffie. Yeah! And for two whole periods, that's exactly what he and the EKGs did. And the EKGs control the draw. Skating alongside his heroes, celebrating goals. And what would hockey be without a fight? Right at Klingberg. Anderson got a taste of that too. Oh, McDuffie's dropped the gloves. He's got a hold of Klingberg. Klingberg's in trouble. You want to live every day with full passion. Mm -hmm. So if we tell him he can't play hockey, there was no point in even fixing his heart because that's not how he wants to live. He doesn't want to live protected and in a bubble. The final score, the EKG six, the Dallas Stars five. Thanks to Make-A-Wish and the Stars, a chance for Anderson to become the hockey hero he always dreamt he could be. It gives them wind in their sails. It gives them motivation. It gives them hope. Just the idea of having something as amazing as a wish got him through um, the worst days. As for his best day, seated next to his hero, Tyler Sagan, he only needed one more word to describe that. How long are you going to remember this? Forever. Forever for a little boy now with a healthy heart that today is as full as it can be. In Frisco, Kevin Reese, Channel 8 News.